as is, is it really as is? So I had a discussion with somebody today, or actually yesterday, as we were presenting an offer and they were saying that they wanted to have their home sold as is. Now, in a contract, it's customarily written, there is a paragraph on page two, item number 11, that states that the properties are being purchased as is in its current present condition. So it's automatically understood. That said, there's two things that really could make that as is not really be an as is sale. First of all, if somebody is paying cash, there are certain things that are required by law to be in place, but there's no statement that says it has to be at the seller's expense. It could potentially be at the buyer's expense. That would be working smoke detectors and also water heater strapping and carbon monoxide installation. Those are the things that are required by law. However, again, a buyer can take care of that. When you're looking to sell a property, however, and it's actually lended on where there's a loan in place, then as is doesn't always mean that a seller can sell it that way. There are certain requirements that lenders require in order to facilitate a loan. One is a working furnace, two is a working stove, three is a working sink, and four is a working toilet. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to have everything in place. As a matter of fact, I had a kitchen one time that all it had was a sink and it had a stove and it was okay as far as the kitchen was concerned. Nothing saying that you have to have bunches and bunches of cabinets and that you have to have bunches and bunches of countertops. You can even go and buy a property without even having flooring on certain loans. The main thing to understand is, is that it depends upon what the lender is going to require. The reason that you have to have a, a furnace or some form of a heat source is because you have to be able to provide some form of heat. Now, I did say a furnace, but I did also want to mention I did one time have somebody that actually had a wood stove and that passed that lender's required caveat. However, it didn't, requ it didn't cover a different lender's requirement. So you have to make sure that you have the right loan, the right lender, and the right understanding. And that way, as is truly can be as is. And you can make certain that the things that are important to both the buyer, the seller, and the lender are all taken into account. Thought you'd find that interesting? I know they did because as we were talking about it, they understood that there were certain things that even though we wanted to do it as is, they still were going to have to legally be required to handle. As always, I'm called Krista, OIC Real Estate Services. We're here to help you see your real estate dreams come true. Have an amazingly blessed day. Bye.